Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is your host Ben on the Lover of Tech channel, LOT Reviews. I'm just bringing you back onto the gaming aspect of the channel again with a PC performance review of Project Cars. So today's game is Project Cars. This is a racing simulator. I'm a big fan of racing simulators. I'm really into my cars as well. And this is a cross-platform game that's available on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. And the PC definitely, with the right hardware, is the definitive edition. And I really wanted to showcase that today with the hardware that I've got in my PC, which is the GTX 1080 for the graphics. And I've got the 4790K, which is overclocked to 4.6 gigahertz, 32 gigabytes of RAM. And on my platform with this PC, I really wanted to show today the power of dynamic super resolution. This is the NVIDIA DSR technology, which allows you to run the game at higher than your native monitor panel, which my native monitor panel is 2048 by 1152 at a much higher resolution and it super samples it down to really give you a much crisper image. This really shows the scalability and the graphics headroom that this game has. Even though it is scalable, it is actually still quite demanding, but it just shows that it's really well optimized. Slightly Mad Studios and Bandai Namco Games really did well to scale this game properly and optimize it from things such as the weather simulation and the car models in terms of the detail and also things like lighting as well as the cars that are on scene when you're racing so i really wanted to deep dive in today jump into the settings and show you what i'm actually running and what settings i'm running and how it's running at true 4k so now into the options and help section of the game where we can go into the visual representation of the game and change the settings so i'm going to show you what settings i'm running for project cars on the pc and right now we've got the visual effects and the performance section. So visual effects has the post processing filters on. You've got the lens flare, which is on. You've also got the sun flare exterior, which is on full. Sun flare interior, which is on full. Bloom effects for lighting, which is also on. Heat haze effects for the car, which is also on. Global specular is also on. Exposure compensation is on one. Raindrops effects are also on. Vignette is also on. You've got the rays that are also on as well as the screen dirt. So performance. So this is what I was stating before that this is actually going to be running at 4096 by 2304 at 60 hertz. This is true 4K higher than the UHD standard, the ultra high definition standard at 3840 by 21. 60, which really showcases the leverage and power of the GTX 1080 on the system using NVIDIA Dynamic Super Resolution. It's not in windowed mode, it's full screen mode as you can see. Texture resolution is on high, which is the highest setting. Texture filtering, which is anisotropic at time 16. V-Sync is off. Anti-aliasing is off, but what I've applied is an FXAA method at medium, just based on the fact that the super sampling is gonna do most of the smoothing of the edges down to the native resolution of my panel. And also SMAA, which is a different anti-aliasing technique with many options for AA in this game. Reflections, environment map, car detail, track detail, shadow detail are all on ultra high settings that they can go to. Enhanced mirror is also on at yes. Motion blur is on high. I know most people might not necessarily be a fan, but I'm just going to keep it on high. Render flames ahead, which is on one. Detailed grass effects, which is also on ultra. Particle effects, which is also on high. Particle density, which is also on ultra. And then the high headlight reflections is also yes, which is on. This is the visual section of it all represented at 4K. And we are going to jump into the gameplay right now. So the racetrack in question is Monza Short in Italy. So I'll be racing in the Mercedes AMG GT3 class car. The conditions have been set. The weather conditions have been put into place. So this is going to be really good for you guys to see the dynamic weather change and how the weather is actually simulated within this game. Project cars in full 4K, 4096 by 2303. And I'm just a sucker for great graphics. And the graphics on this game is absolutely well represented. So as you can see on the far left, this is MSI Afterburner running, showing the frame rate at the top. The graphics card that I'm running with an extra 200 megahertz overclock onto the core, which is kind of hovering around, you know, just slightly under two gigahertz on the core frequency. You've got a percentage showing you the load in which the graphics card is running at and also the temperature. Um, you've also got the memory frequency on the graphics card as well, which has been clocked with an extra 300 megahertz. You've got the VRAM usage as well, which is kind of hovering around 3.6 gigahertz. CPU temperature, 
the core i7 4790k the utilization of it right now which is hovering around 30 to 45 percent 50 percent in some cases as well as the system memory and as you can see the frame rate right now is hovering around 85 frames a second and it is absolutely butter this is with fxaa on in medium full dynamic super resolution at full 4k and it just shows the optimization of this game is absolutely amazing this is super sampling down to my native resolution and it just looks absolutely gorgeous there's smooth edges everywhere and as you're actually seeing right now into the next turn over onto the next right turn and into the next straight lane into the game you're seeing the weather dynamically change so the track is becoming wet the storm of, storm of the weather is actually changing and it looks absolutely gorgeous this is actually probably one of the first racing simulators where i thoroughly enjoy playing in the rain because it looks so realistic the simulation the raindrops the mist it really showcases the definitive addition being the pc for playing this game and it's still even with the demanding rendering of rain you know still hovering around 60 frames a second and this is with fxaa it just shows that with the right system and the right gaming components and the right graphics and the processor platform that you're using playing games natively at 4k even using dynamic super resolution it is a reality it's absolutely gorgeous and it's just something that i just keep playing over and over again whether it's free practice or solo with different opponents even sometimes playing online as well it's just so much fun and because i love motorsport to be probably be arguably my favorite sport being able to have a racing simulator like this to all over all my favorite you know cars that i see you know when i'm watching on youtube and sometimes i see in real life is such a great representation of being able to you know see these games running at 4k and then just the performance being so stellar and smooth even at times when it's dropping to like maybe 59 or 58 frames a second it's just so smooth and the experience is so enjoyable to watch that you know i just it's probably just one of the, one of the best games you can see graphically in terms of a racing simulator what you can actually see right now is just the free angle being moved around and that is pretty much the lap finish so this is project cars hope you guys enjoyed it like and subscribe for more of the gaming content with project cars and other games in the future if there's anything that you want to see more with these performance reviews give it a like let's have a comment and a discussion in the description again this is your host ben on the lover of tech channel lot reviews and i'm signing out